हेलो फ्रेंड्स मोस्ट वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड द क्रेश कॉस ऑफ साइकोलिंग्विस्टिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द बिहेवियरिस्ट थ्योरी ऑफ लैंग्वेज एक्विजिशन एक्चुअली देयर आर फोर थियोरीज ऑफ लैंग्वेज एक्विजिशन द फर्स्ट वन इज बिहेवियरिस्ट द सेकेंड वन इज इंट्रोडक्शनिस्ट द थर्ड वन इज कगनीटिविस्ट एंड द फोर्थ वन इज एन लेटेस्ट थ्योरी ऑफ लैंग्वेज एक्विजिशन वी विल डिस्कस ऑल दीज थ्योरीज ऑफ लैंग्वेज एक्विजिशन एंड द नेक्स्ट वीडियोज वन बाई वन ओके सो इफ यू हैव नॉट येट सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एट आई वुड बी मच थैंकफुल ओके सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम let's start our discussion on behaviorist theory of language acquisition this theory was proposed by b f skinner in 1957 first of all we will discuss its definition then we will discuss its main points and then we will discuss its limitations okay this theory is also called the imitation theory or learning theory the main concept of the theory is that we are the product of our environment humans have no internal ability to develop language okay the main statement of the theory is that children learn language through imitation association and operant conditioning okay now here are the main points of the behaviorist theory of language acquisition children imitate the language of their caregivers children associate sounds with objects actions and events for example children associate the word ball to an object with round shape and the word smile is associated with the action of smiling children learn language through operant conditioning operant conditioning in psychology is a technique of behavioral behavioral modification and operant conditioning there is a positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement okay so what is positive reinforcement it is based on reward for example if the child speaks and uses language correctly the caregiver show approval appreciates the child and gives a kind of reward okay so what is negative reinforcement it is based on a kind of punishment for example if the child uses language incorrectly she is either ignored or corrected so this is a kind of punishment negative reinforcement teaches the child to avoid making mistakes and correct their language use okay so here are the limitations of the behaviorist theory of language acquisition number first is infinite number of sentences how can a child imitate an infinite number of sentences that are possible in a language because behaviorist theory claims that a child has no internal mechanism to develop language children learn through imitation okay productive rules according to jean burko children uh, according to jean burko children have productive rules to develop language she conducted uh, a test that was called the work test this is a work there is another one these are dot 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 the children said works okay over generalization another limitation of the behaviorist theory in every language there is morphology syntax and grammar a set of rules for constructing morphologically correct words and syntactically correct sentences and while acquiring language children acquire and apply these rules it is because over generalization over generalization means applying a specific grammar rule overly generally so over generalization occurs in child language for example the language acquiring children may say goat instead of went and foots instead of feet so children use descriptive grammar in acquiring language so this is another limitation of the behaviorist theory so here we have the case of jinny a 13 year old child according to critical period hypothesis there is a biologically determined period during which 
uh, children can uh, learn language successfully and acquire native like fancy a 13 years old unfortunate girl brought up in isolation and deprived of normal human contact at the age of 13 she was found unable to speak underdeveloped in many ways and she never became a fluent speaker even after exposure to the outer environment she was given basic training to learn language but she failed to acquire the basic grammatical competence of an average five year old okay so this was all about the behaviorist theory of language acquisition in the next videos we will discuss about the interactionist theory uh, cognitivist theory and innatist theory of language acquisition see you in the next videos take care